Welcome back. Um, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to do some testing of a brand new product. Well, let's not even call it a brand new product. This is a product that does not exist yet and you can't use yet, but we're doing some testing and you'll see what's around the corner, I should say. Uh, let me show you what I've done with this uh, test account. I put a 10,000 DEC in there. Looks like we've used up 130 of it. Uh, let's go over here. So inside of, well, my cards, let's go there. We have a bunch of cards that I did not rent that were rented for me. Yes, we're talking about a form of auto rentals. I have 129 DEC rented a day. I'm at 14,000 DEC, so I can easily move up to the league I want. We're going to do this from scratch, but I have already done this account. <laughs> All right. And so now I want to move to a different account. If I go to rentals, though, I'm going to show you this again. i show you this. We can bid for CP for collection power and bid on cards. Click here to bid on the card. And I've done a bit of that. And it was just a bunch of tests. We're going to start from scratch. OK, so we're going to log out. I've set up another account with nothing in it. So if we go to my cards, this account has nothing in it, but there is 10,000 DEC again. <clears throat> I don't think you need that much, maybe 1,000. Probably should have just done 1,000. All right, so I'm gonna start by renting some cards, okay? Now, um, if we log into Splinterlands, let's... Uh, Log in to that same account and see where it's at. I believe, is it Utah? It's at the very beginning. But I'm just gonna double check how long ago this was played. Uh, we're, we're just at novice. I don't need cards yet, but I'm gonna start renting some cards. So I think we mainly just need uh, low level cards but we don't need any of the cards that they give us immediately. Um, but they don't give us any dice cards and all that sort of stuff. So I think we just need to remember, what is it that they give us immediately? Well, I wanna look for some legendaries to see what the price is. If you click on this right here, you can see the lowest prices. So I know that I can win a lot of games with the Cambio. And right now it's at 6.3, but that's what it's listed for. If you if you need a reminder, these are the different listings. And when I opened it, it's already gone. So it was listed at 6.3. It's already gone, 19.9. But I know that some are being rented at 6.3. So why shouldn't I put my bid at 6.3? I saw it there for a moment. <clears throat> All right, so we do need to give um, the account Peak Monsters uh, rental authority. So I'm gonna go into settings. And in this case, it's not on Peak Monsters right now. It's a separate site. There's rental authority. So we're gonna grant authority. So this account is gonna give authority to, well, essentially Peak Monsters. It's, it's another little account that we have. Um, uh, all right, and there we go. Okay, so now we have the authority to bid. No, well, I think we need to refresh the page and then click on legendary. We want the cambio. There we go. So level one, I'm not interested in a gold. I'm gonna do a 6.3. That, that way, the next time it comes around, I am getting that Cambio. I would also love the Magnor. So I'm going to bid, it just went away. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna bid nine on, the, on that. It's going to say, hey, things at 111. Well, today is the last day of the season. 
I don't think I'm going to end up with this card, but I am now the highest bid on it because I'm the only one bidding. So there you go. Um, I love the Oaken Bohemoth. I just don't know how much these are going to drop in price. So maybe I'll do seven. I don't know what these are being rented out for. Now, when a lot of people start to bid, you'll be able to bid against the other people. And the owners will see the bids as well. And they'll know where to price theirs. And maybe they'll price it to help you out. Um, I'm not too interested in some of these others. But the Byzantine Kitty, I would definitely rent that card out. It would be good for a few different levels. So we're going to bid 15 on it. <clears throat> the money goes nowhere. Okay. It stays there. I haven't spent anything 10,000. Um, there is a lot to be changed and, and, and improved upon. This is very early on. Uh, very, very early on. So what are some other ones that at low levels I know are going to be like, you are going to win this game because you have this card. What are the Robo Dragon Knights is like, yeah, you win if you have it at a low level, I think. So <clears throat> maybe I put it at eight. This is for tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to win any of these bids today because this is the last day of the season. If you want to take a look, what are the highest rented out? Let's see here. Oh, there it is. 50 CP per DEC is the is the best deal. And that's for a uh, Pegasus. Now the Elemental Phoenix. I think I'd win a bunch of games if I had that one. I just... I'm a low-level player. I'm not going to get too many legendary cards. But if they come my way, that's great. Let's look for some epic cards. <clears throat> Shall we? Let's do, um, let's look at the low price, lowest price ones. Now, do they give us an Imp Bowman? That's the question. What are some of the Soulbound cards? Let's look at Epic cards. You get zero Epic and Legendaries um, Soulbound, like the ones that they give you to play for free. So I could do rentals on all of these. Um, in the future, maybe there's a way to rent on all of them and say, look, uh, one DEC, I'll take anything. <laughs> Any epic card at level one for 0.5 would be fine. But what are the ones I'm most interested in? Um, the Goblin Fire Mage really gets good at level two. Um, so I can go here, click on level two. And uh, let's put four. I don't know what... We, we don't have highest bids yet because I'm the first one to bid. Oh, Lava La Launcher would be a great one to use. Um, what I would like to do is see where it's at at a level two. 17 versus 3.9... What do you get at level two? Not too much. Level one's just fine. So I'm going to bid. Uh, it said that it was 1.9 for a little bit, at least. I don't know what it is now. 3.9. Well, if it was 1.9 at one point, <clears throat> I think it will go back. So I'm going to do a bid for two. Uh, I don't think I'm going to end up having a Dragon Summoner, so I'm not going to make a bid on that. Level 1s get a 3 attack on the Harpoonist, so I'm going to bid on a level 1 at 1.1. See if some cards come through. 
I definitely love a brownie. It's a good card to have. So we're going to bid one at 300 CP is probably not a good deal for the owner right now, but we're thinking about tomorrow. Uh, the end of the seasons today is in 20 hours from now. So some of these rentals will get filled pretty easily tomorrow is my guess. Now the Mitica is another one that's probably really good at level one. So let's go for, <clears throat> let's go for a three. I think I win a bunch of games with it. So it's not just about where the market is, it's how much I'm really wanting to spend for it. Axe Master, another great card for lower level teams, because I think it starts at two, but double strike. So we're going to bid on this one. Yeah, three sounds pretty good. I'll be surprised if I get any of these before the video ends. Uh, what I need to do is show you ones that, I mean, are going to be pretty definite. <clears throat> But I still like to go through this, actually. Lunakari Mistress would be good at level one. So let's bid. I mean, we bid a lot. We bid three on several of the other ones. So we should do that as well. Darkest Mage, Torhillo. Torhillo. A four attack. I mean, these are big, high mana cards. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty good. Let's try four. Um, sorry, got to confirm that transaction. What else is good at lower levels? Lobster Domus will win us some games. Now, it's not that I'm going to get all these. I'm going to get lucky to get some of these because I'm bidding for so much lower than uh, what's the normal cost right now. Half half of the normal cost. But some cards are may become available. And that's a little bit what I'm hoping for. Now we're getting up into some pretty high cost stuff. The Coral Wraith starts at two, has sneak. Um, that's a great card. That'd win me some games, right? Alright, signing for each of these transactions. And then, um, and we're getting into really spendy stuff. So what we're going to do here is refresh. Magi of the Force at 0.57. So if I clicked on this or looked at them right now, I'm sure it's gone. Oh my gosh, it's still there. Well, that's pretty darn cool. Let's just grab it. I don't know if it's still there. These sorts of things do not last long, especially at 500 CP per DEC. The chances of us having gotten that are extremely low. So rental history, let's open up a new tab. See, no rental history yet. It did not get that card. It's not available. But you see what I'm, I'm talking about? Owners haven't had this tool yet. So this Terra hasn't seen what the bids are from users because we're just now creating a bid system. So they put it at 0.57 and just probably set it and forget it and it's crazy. So we're gonna we're gonna do a bid on this for I mean it's a good card to if it comes back up at 0.57, I will still get it at the 0.57. I won't pay two, even though I bid two, I'll pay it at whatever crazy person wants to get it to me under that amount. But you'll see here that now you see a bunch of my different bids. So uh, here's the thing, the Uraeus is just not great at level one. It's good at level two. So um, let's go take a look at what it is costing at level two. 14. Yeah, so we don't want the Uraeus at level one, but I'll take it at level two. So let's, let's it's a good card. I'm gonna do up to 
four on it. So those are my epics. Um, nothing I'm sure has been rented yet. If you saw those prices, they were dang low. So let's go into my rares. Um, uh, and these tend to be a lot of the cards that they're getting for free. Let's double check. So we're going to go to rare cards. And um, let's go down to... Yeah, we don't have a Hobgoblin. You guys remember all of these? That's one of the things that I'd like to change is to maybe put an S for Soulbound next to these cards so that I, it's like, oh, I know I have one of them at level one. But I mean, if they're going to give us... If there's going to be some available at point one, that is great. In fact... Um, I mean, I'd love it at uh, level three, to be honest. What's it going for at level three is the question. 19. And it just yeah, it goes down so much. So, I mean, maybe point three down here, or point two, should end up with this card at some point pretty soon. Um, I don't know if I would love it at level 3 enough. It's definitely good at level 3, but uh, what bid do I want, want to put in? I think at level 3, I put in a 3 or 4 bid. So, what does the Naga Assassin do? Backfire and just a 1 attack. Even at level... Oh, and at level, we can't even do level three because we're only going to be in Bronze League. So we're just looking at level two. So I'm not terribly interested in the Naga Assassin. It's a dragon. I don't, I don't think I'll be doing any dragons. What is the Bonesmith doing? It's magic attack with life leech. Yeah. What does it get at level two? Nothing too great. So let's just bid for it at level... Uh, Level one, and let's point two. Sounds good to me. Um, uh, the crystal smith at level two. I don't think I'm that interested either. So let's bid for it at point three. Good card. That may be a high price to pay for it, but. We'll get it, whatever next one gets listed, I guess. The Seedsmith at level 1 has Scavenger and a 2 attack. I'm liking that. Um, so let's do that one again and bid point three. All right. Um, and maybe I will favorite some of these as well. Like, these are the ones I'm interested in. I would like a Hobgoblin. I, it's not like high, high favorite. Well, now I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to get some of these um, cards at level 3. Or at level 2, sorry. To be able to play in bronze. So, let's start putting in some rentals. So, uh, what is our general? Should we basically put in everything at 3.5? Maybe 4? Let's bid. Let's bid 3.5. Bid 3. Ah. Uh, 3.5. Alright. Let's bid... Uh, we're not as in... Well, we do need a red card. Because red's going to be a strong team. I'm just going to do three on this one. Because I like the other red better. So bid... Now let's bid four on this one. But what we don't have built in yet is the ability to grab when there's already something available. So don't expect that. 
Well, let's grab this if it becomes available at two. Doesn't hurt to have extra summoners. Now it's the pyre that I want. I like having a fast attack red team. So I'm going decently fast. We're going to find some ways maybe to make this process a little bit faster. We're going to do this one at the 3.5. So I'm not really caring too much about what their present prices are. I'm going to wait. This is going to come up tomorrow. I probably won't get many of these cards today. I'm just going to show up tomorrow and a lot of these may be rented. So um, I'm just kind of testing out um, how time consuming this is. What's it like? Um, Alric, we will have, oh, we get him at level one to begin with, but so he's not worth too much to us because we already get him at level one. But I'm going to go for uh, six DEC a day if he becomes available. And I'm going to grab this one at seven if one becomes available. Like, I don't think they're going to become available. But if they do, it's great. And I'll grab this one at five if it becomes available. This is my worth for them, so don't pay too much attention to these things over there. It's it's really up to you. We do want to make sure we do get a blue card, a blue summoner of some sort. Now, we're also... We also got to make sure that we have resource credits. I think I may be running out. Let's go check it out. I just don't know why it didn't, why it took so long to do the transaction. Maybe I ran out of internet. Let's pause. I'll be right back. All right. It looks like it was just a momentary blip on the internet, my internet. So let's finish that transaction. Yeah, it's supposed to go that fast. Oh, and a Tyrus. We should probably bid on a Tyrus. We'll do the 3.5 bid. I don't know if this is good because we have to wait for other bids to come in to see if I'm going to be the first to get this because if someone else bids more than me, they'll get to get the card. So let's delete that one. Okay. We can also refresh this and see if... Oh, look, we already got one. The Venari Crystal Smith. That's pretty cool. And it got it at 0.294. Now, we don't necessarily have right here. This is just rental history. We're going to want to look at... We can go back to rent and um, type in Venari. We bid... Um, let's refresh. There are still plenty of issues going on here. Um, so it's not telling us what we bid on it here. Um, oh, I got the, did it get the seed smith for us as well? Awesome. So... That's a good thing. So it's gotten a couple of cards for us, but it's not telling us what we bid for them, uh, which is just a bug on our end as we aren't even launched yet. You go to profile and then you go to rentals, not this old deprecated rentals, this rentals. So we can see the two active bids. We bid 0.3 on both of them. We got one at 0.3 for the Seedsmith and 0.294 for the Crystal Smith. So, got lucky. I mean, if they were just a little bit more, I wouldn't have got those two cards. So, this is awesome. As you can see, now I am only renting, I'm spending 0.594. And I've got a nice white card and a nice green card, and I've just started, right? Now, here's the thing. You set them up, 
you don't have to set them up again. Uh, obviously, when you move up levels, then you can go and adjust them is is the expectation, right? So let's let's go back to rares and let's let's look for the level twos. <clears throat> and uh, we've only got some of those summoners. What do I want? Is this level two? It still has a one attack and it doesn't have a heal yet. So not a card I'm interested in. Fire Elemental has a two attack with a blast. That's great. So we are going to bid on this one. Probably a two is my guess. I don't know. It seems pretty high when I was doing summoners for three. So we also want to sort by price. It's probably the best deal. So, um, Bone Golem is great. Uh, I still think I'm going to, I'm going to bid 1.5 on him. Probably don't need him at a level two. That's a good thought. Uh, still pretty decent. What's he at level one? Show more cards. Point eight. Hmm. I think he's going to be pretty good at level one for our cause. We just need some new cards. We're, we're going real cheap on the rentals. So we're going to confirm that. Close that. I do love an ice pixie. Level two isn't. Oh, level two has one more heal. I think it's kind of worth it. If we can get it at a good rate. End of season are not good rates. But we're gonna get, we're trying it. We got two cards already. Naga Fire Wizard. Yeah, that's a good card. We don't care about speed too much on a magic card. So we're going to go look at level ones and see 0.45. Look, I'm sure that one's probably already gone. Let's, uh, let's bid 0.5 on it. And then the next one that comes around, because that one over there that was, that you just saw, it's gone by now. There's no way it's still around. It, these cards at the end of the season, they go so quickly. So bids is almost, it's definitely where it's at. Obviously. Obviously. Level two, one extra speed. I think we just are looking for a level one princess. Point five is actually seems like a decent deal. And I could just rent it right now, but I want to use my auto rentals. Um, and maybe I should go for point, just whatever the next good one is. I'm not going to be playing a ton tonight, and I'm starting off playing in in novice, so I don't need a lot of cards. So, um, shield bear would do us a lot of good. What does it get at level two? An extra heal is pretty good for it. We're at five, nine. We're going for super cheap renting. So we're gonna look at level ones and do a bid for 0.5, which is way better than 5.9. I don't know if you know math, but yeah. 0.6. It's a good card. Let's do it. Um, so what else is really good to get at lower leagues? Captain's Ghost, Flame Imp, Silver Assassin. I think the Silver Assassin's pretty darn good. What does it get at level 2? One shield. So not worth it. And we can't use level threes. We're just looking at level twos. 
five. Yeah, let's do it. All right, you ready? Bid. Oh, we needed to change this level one to 1.5. Did I do all those other ones wrong? Don't forget to choose your level. Whatever it's filtered to, it's gonna do automatically. So we're gonna refresh. We'll look at level two prices, but we're renting a lot of level ones. So I'm gonna change this one to level one. Fire elemental level two. Um, Ice Pixie, we definitely wanted a level two. Level two on that, level three on the, no, level two. Level two on the Naga Fire Wizard. Pretty sure I was okay with a level one, and that was kind of a better price possibility. And the Princess, I think we were going for a level one. Shield bear level one. I'd be happy with the level two, but I'm just going to try for the level one right now. Undead priest is pretty decent. Haunted spirit. Um, well, a level two would give us one more health. So we are going to, we get it in the soul bound cards. But if we get level two, we're willing to spend a little bit more. Twisted Jester. I think we get this as a Soulbound one. Let's just double check. Let's go into the black cards. And I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Twisted Jester. So not one I am interested in even in level two so oh we wanted that silver shield assassin did it register yeah there it is javelin thrower javelin thrower is that something we get soul bound no so let's let's put a bit in what is it between level one and two? One more speed, which is fine, but not worth it. Um, I'm going for a lot of level one cards because this is just a really cheap renting. Point five. Let's do point five. Oh, sorry. So let's go back here. We're looking at level twos, but we just want a level one. So. We need to put in level one point five. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Um, rental history. We still just have these two cards for now, but if we play a couple of games, I'm guessing things will come back through. Now we're going to level up pretty quickly as we play. What is the CP requirements? 100 CP, 400, 700. So may, what if we did all the way through bronze? Let's just get some cards. So, or how about through 700? So 400 to 700. Here's the other interesting thing. Is we're going to do a CP bid. How about that? We're going to try to get our cards up to... Let's see what we're already at. We're at 40 DEC. We want to get to 400. So let's do a bid. Oh, what just happened? Okay, let's do a bid of 360. This range, 500, 360. Okay, cool. And um, what is our 
bid amount. So to do this really well, we need to look at what these cards are going for. 200. There's a bunch of them in here at 200 to 300. We're looking at these numbers here. So I'm going to say 250 and hope that I just get a few really nice cards. We're going to do a decent range. Oh, look at that. When you edit that number, this one goes away. So that is a little bug. Okay, so now we're basically telling Peak Monsters, rent anything to get me up to the next level, which I'll need soon as I start playing. So let's refresh here. You see that it's here now, 360 to 600. One DEC equals, or so there's CP per DEC. We should change that to be called CP per DEC instead of this little squiggly line and that sort of thing. So this is our bid, 250. So um, I, I do want to go through some of the commons. I do want to see them at level three. We don't have the summoners to play at level three yet, but that will come. I do want to see the lowest priced cards. They aren't that low, are they? So ant miners at level three. I just don't ever use ant miners. So let's just skip that. Sandworm. You have to have sandworm. Now, what does it have at level three? Just a health and a speed. Let's forget that and just grab a level one. So we don't need to spend 1.7. We don't need to spend one. We can spend... Point one. Get us a card, one of the best cards to have at for low levels at point one. It's crazy. But that's probably going to get rented to quite quickly, more so than the others. Now, do we get a spineback turtle right away? That's the question. So let's go back to the cards. We do. So what is it going to get at level three? It's going to get nothing much. So we're going to skip that. We already got it. We don't need to rent it. Um, some of these others I'm not that interested in yet. Creeping Ooze I'm very interested in. But I know that I only need a level one. I just need whatever gives me slow. And that's level one. So let's go down 0.7. Wow. It's not that much, too much more for point for level three. But we just don't need that higher of one. So we're going to do level one, 0.5. It's a good card. So good card for low levels. Well, any level, really. Just a, a, a level one that gives you an, an impact. So Nectar Queen, I'm pretty sure we don't get. Do you see it here? No Nectar Queen. So renting it would be a great idea. What's it get at level one? Um, just... One more health and one more speed. I think I'm okay with it at level one. Let's see. Yeah, point one. This is crazy. Let's do it. Point one for level one. So point. Confirm. And... Uh, but we could get a lot of these at level one. Let's just actually just change this to level one. Look at all these point one cards that we already get. Sea monster? Do we already get the sea monster? No? Well, we want the sea monster, so we're going to bid one. So if it's a little faster, we don't have to change the number. 
Cave Slug. Ooh, do we get it though? Let's go to white. Cave Slug. Cave Slug. Yep. So that's why we don't need it. I don't think we need Crystal or the Boatman. Or the Albatross. They already give us a Field Summoner. Um, maybe pretty good at level three. So let's see what it costs at level three. Eleven? Yeah, not going to be that good. But you know what? If for some reason one becomes available for two DEC, I'm in on that. Um, Defender, Etten... I like, I like some of these high cards to play in the high matches, but I love the Screeching Vulture. I like it at level four, so I'm not interested yet in that. The Undead Rex, do we get that one to begin with? Undead Rex. You see it? I don't. I don't see it, so... Which makes sense. I don't think they give out reward cards there. So let's take a look. Five attacks. Level one is going to be plenty sufficient. And um, yeah, let's just do it. Level one. Some of these cards people need to put different prices on. Too good of a deal. We already did... Sandworm, but it needs to. We need to refresh the page to see it again. Look at all these ones. Just wow. So many good cards at point one. Frost Lion. Void Armor. I don't know. Don't know about that. <coughs> Nightmare. Blast, level two, level three would be great. Level two is totally fine. So let's go to the Nightmare and open it up. We could get it, I mean, at level one, nope, just one attack, I'm not into it. But what about a level two? Point eight, that is great. This would be a great card to get. I'm sure it's already gone by now. 250 CP per DEC. Yeah, I'm sure it's already gone. Okay, so let's try to get a level two at point six. So level two, point six, confirm. A lot of cards to choose from. Pelicor Mercenary. Um, oh, we want the Flame Monkey, that's for sure. Nothing really substantial at level two or three. So I think I'll just get it when we've got uh, level one. Serpentine Spy. It, I mean, it improves at level three, but not enough for me. So, Goblin Thief would be great at level one. So, we're going to bid. I mean, I'll get it at point two. Parasitic Growth gets good at level three. All right. So we need to go in and check level threes. Four, five. I like it, though. So I don't like it at that rate, but we're into the season. So this is a big reason. Um, uh, let's go level threes. Okay, cool. 
the beginning of the season, all these prices are going to drop. It's going to make it pretty easy to get cards. So, in the meantime, shall we uh, see what cards we have to play with? We already got the sand worm. We got ant miners from a collection power thing. So, or why did we get ant miners? 100 CP. It doesn't sound right. I didn't put it in a bid for 100 CP. So there's there's some errors going on. That's uh that's fine though. Things like this happen. So what I do want to do is make sure I get my fair share of neutral cards. So an elven defender. Pretty sure they already give us the elven defender. Yep. I don't know if it gets better at level two. I mean, obviously it gets better. Good enough is the question. So one thing we want to do is refresh the page. It's one thing that has to happen for right now is refreshing the page. So let's sort this. We'll see we've already done some bids on these. The Centaur, is that a level one? Yeah, still a level one. Um, maggots, keep slug, boatman, feasting seaweed. What do we get? Do we get that card? Feasting seaweed. Yeah, it's a level two attack, or a two attack, I should just say. Oh, we wanted to make sure we do all neutrals. There we go. And the sandworm, see how we have the we have we see the card, but the bid isn't showing up. So that's a that's a little bug. A little issue on the site. Goblin mech. We definitely want it. And I'm pretty sure they don't give it automatically to us. So Let's go and bid for that card. Bid. What should we bid? I want to look at them. Level twos, one, uh, 1. 1.9 versus 0. 0.2. I don't think there's any uh, comparison there. We're just going to bid for the level one card. Our superior playing should win us. Point two. <clears throat> so I do want to favorite some of these. These are the cards that will win you the game in lower levels if you have them. In my opinion, this one you need a level two. All right, now we get to the Furious Chicken, which you have to have. So we're going to bid. Ooh, let's try. Let's try four. We're just gonna tr make sure we get this card. All right. Any other cards here? that we know we win if we have them. A two attack, a magic attack. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's bid. Ooh, 17. Yeah, we can't do that. But you know what? If one becomes available at four, I'll do it. That's, I don't think anyone will become available. I'll bid on a Hydra too. I'll, I'll do six on that. Uh, five. I don't think any of them are going to become available. Just saying. Maybe tomorrow. Stuff happens at the beginning of the season. Tatiana. Oh, this is a Gladius card. Um, okay. So, there we go. 
And then we could check out all the legendaries. Oh, you know what? If one became available at four, I'll take it. You know what? 3.5. I don't need it that much. Not a win you a game sort of card. Some of these are. Some of these are going to get filled tomorrow. You think I'm putting a really low amount? Stuff really drops quite a bit tomorrow. So I'm going to put in some bids. Some of these are going to get filled tomorrow. All right, so it got us, you see this? It got us two sandworms because one of them was at my, uh, it's this little bug here. So it, uh, what's happening is if it finds a 0.1 DEC per day card, it will just automatically rent it to us. So now did we go for the Naga assassin? Did we try to rent that one? Because it rented it to us. Did I want it at... I don't... I didn't want any dragon cards, so... Let's go... Again, we're doing testing, so... Let's go take a look... At this... Alright, so it filled Sandworm, it filled Sea Monster... I didn't see the sea monster. I think we got a bug. No sea monster. But it says it filled it. So that's strange, right? Hmm. Well, I hope it does. That would be cool. And it says it did uh, these two, which we know it did. And then it says Axe Master and Lava Launcher. It filled. Now, I think what's happening is that it thinks it filled these cards. It has attempted to fill these cards. But in reality, it hasn't. If you look, we started at 10,000. We're only down one. Barely one, right? If we actually look here, we'll see how much we're down. We're down 0.3. Really? Just 0.3 something? I must have had a little bit of DEC in before. So. So it's done some very inexpensive rentals. Um, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So I must have had a little bit in the account before because it looks like we're at 7, 8. Well, we can see here 1.2 DEC is what we've rented so far. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause and um, screenshot this and show that um, it's mistaking these cards. It has attempted to rent them and someone else probably just beat us to it. So... Um, but we will be speeding it up so that we don't get beat very often. All right, I've submitted the bug reports so that these things don't say filled. What's likely happening? Yeah, so this one is filled, obviously, but this one didn't get filled, so three of those didn't. Now let's take a look. Current CP says zero, which is strange because it's rented a couple other cards, um, so there may be a bug in that some of these other cards turned out to be different. So, all right. All right. We've identified that issue. <clears throat> I'm going to play a couple games. I know it's exciting to watch, uh, novice league games, <laughs> but I do chat about how to play, and uh, I do have the longest videos, the longest Splinterlands videos out there. 
Isn't that exciting? All right, let's go novice league. Let's let's focus on. Oh, what cards did we end up getting? Oh, the sandworm. We got to do a sandworm. Um. Yeah, this is this is how I go. Um. This is how I do low level leagues. I make sure I get at least two attacks. I want two attacks. So I don't have a chicken yet, which is really scary, but we're going to go first. It's novice league. Hopefully there's no one to, oh, they're, they're going speed attack. So I don't know what to say. Oh, and they've got this guy, which would kill us. So I don't think we're going to win this to be honest. Guess it depends on who goes first. Oh, we did. So we did good, and they missed us. So doing quite good. We won. All right. The speed was good because that speedy of a guy early on in in novice league, level one cards. No one's gonna hit that pixie very. That, uh, whatever it is, a pixie? Is that a pixie? I can't remember. All right, this is where we're going we're gonna to bring out the, the sand worm. I do like, we're going to focus on red. So this is one of our rented cards. It's going to win us this match. That's just all there is to it. It will win us this match. And at the end, I like putting a two attack card. So we have a two, and we have another two, and we have a two here. This one has higher health. Ooh, did we rent this one, or did we already just get this one just to begin with? I'm going to try that risky spark pixies at the end thing again. Let's give it a shot. But like I said, Sandworm, I think, wins us this. And if they try to sneak attack me in the back, we're just, uh, yeah, they've got a sneak attack. But I'm a level five, or a five speed. So I don't know how easy it's going to be. They meet, may beat, um, I don't know. We'll see. I think this guy still, oh my gosh, before I even attacked. Wow. How come they had so much speed? They had so much speed. They attacked. Did we get that bad of luck? We had the same same guys, the same summoner to give speed, and yet they went faster than me on so many accounts. Anyways, we're going to do this again. And we're going to look at the level twos. I guess we use him. Let's give it a shot. I'm, I'm sticking with it. I think that the sandworm helps us a lot. But I guess we're going to find out. Wow, it looks like everyone using living lava and kicking butt with it. But if this guy can survive two rounds, if he can hit this guy, that's the question. Ah. Ah, he hit him. Good. Okay. Good. I think we're in a good spot. Yep. We're going to be just fine. And there we go. One miss, though, and I would have lost. So we're getting close to being out of novice. Doesn't take long. Let's stick with it. We're just going to show you a good um, fire team attack. Sandworm in there. And then um, <clears throat> we need a three attack. 
Oops, he's good to have at the back, probably. He's got a four, which on these on level one cards, that's not too bad. It doesn't look like we have rented out any new cards. We should try green and white. I think that's what we should do next. No new cards have come in. We're only spending 1.2 a day, and um, half of that is just kind of mistake stuff. So, what's taking so long on this? I don't know. I don't know. I'll pause it. While, while we're waiting, you can go over to uh, Mark uh, My Explorer, and you can see the four, five, six, seven times we have attempted to rent a card. And this one wasn't available. This one was. This one was. This one was. That one was, but I don't know why. We didn't want it or need it. And then three more. There's three cards in a row that were random and weird. So just bugs we need to fix. So I don't know which card it tried to get. It would be interesting to know. So we didn't lose out. I, I, I mentioned that speed probably lost us a couple, but it doesn't look like it has except for that very first card. So um, this is weird. Maybe it's someone trying to learn how to play. I'll pause again. I think it was legitimately a new novice that took all three minutes to figure out what he's doing. But I'm not sure about that. Well, I guess it could be a novice because they put this in the back and this one there. So this is a real person that hasn't bought the spell book yet. Um, but they don't know how to play because you don't put a melee in the back area. So sorry, buddy. This is going to go quickly. Didn't go as quick as planned, but it was a pretty easy win. Now, we're almost out of novice, but we wanted to play green and white to play our new cards that we're renting for about two cents a day. All of them combined, I should say. All right, so let's go over here. Where's our card that we rented? This one. At a 15 mana game, Maybe too much. Let's go take a look at the white card that we rented. Um, a healing card. It's probably a pretty good bet. If I could do a high attack. How about this one? This little combo. Oops. Well, I could do... Yeah, I could do this combo. I wonder what this is going to do. An eight, though, I don't know. How about we do a three attack? And then we'll try to add in something else. Just two attackers here. Uh, we should have protected the back. We don't want the crystal to get sneaked upon. Oh, they're going with this method, and they're going to they're going to strengthen this guy, which is a weird move. That's all this guy is going to do, and we're not even trying to sneak in the back. So I like our chances because we're going to heal this guy, and he's back to seven, and he's back to seven. You see what I'm saying? And we're attacking with these two. 
And done. All right. Are we out of 125? We got 40 points on that one, which means we are now in bronze league. We need some extra CP to get to the next league, to the next stage, which means we need we need that 400. And we are presently at 90. So well, this is strange that they're allowing us at bronze. We need 100 to be playing in bronze 3. How come we're able to play? Our power's at... Well, that's strange. But who am I to say no? So we have enough CP to be able to play in bronze 3. So we're playing. And uh, with a 12, I think we really do need to go with the Severus. You know what, we're going to go with the Malric on the Severus. And then when we play this guy and this guy, that'll be a good little combination. <clears throat> Ooh, that's going to be tough. The stone splitter is going to... Uh, going to wreak some havoc and it may go fast so this one and then this one oh it's going to be close oh he didn't he didn't um retaliate and that saved us because of the retaliate we win because there was no retaliate we won so we're winning point two which is pretty darn cool when you consider that most of my cards I'm renting for point two. <laughs> so one win pays for a lot of my cards. So we are now going to claim this quest because we're doing a lot on fire quest. And we get one thing with a potion. So it didn't really help us too much, but when we open up packs coming up, in the Chaos Legion, that's gonna come in handy. And we're gonna get five packs in 17 hours from now. So a sneak quest is pretty cool. So it's because we haven't played on this account in a long time, we got two in a row, so. Now we wanted to try the green, which, um, each time a monster dies, well, that's pretty cool. I think monsters will die pretty quickly in this sort of game. Um, but what is our lead guy? I think it has to be this, this. Okay, so the Unicorn Mustang is kind of like a stable of Bronze League. But now we have four left. Do we want to use just one four? Probably this Sneak. Because that's our our thing. Also, there is no one, so we can't do a three and a one. So that's probably a good bet. We're gonna put the Venari Seedsmith on the back, but it has the ability if there's a sneak, we may be out of luck here. Let's check it out. This isn't good for us either, the armor. So we're gonna see what they put up front. And they have a spy, which is really bad for the Seedsmith. Um, and they're going to go first, so that's really bad. Oh, I get a plus one because of the summoner. So they're not going to kill him, and then we're going to kill... Uh, I don't know if we're going to kill him. Uh, dang it, they're going to attack here. Hmm. Lame. They may win. They are definitely going to win. Wasn't a good option. I haven't played with that Seedsmith, but it, I don't think that that really helped us much. 
Oh, a 99 it came. So where do we want to do a 99 game? In we're going to try using our new dude, the sandworm and the and the healer. And we're going to look at all of our high level cards. What do we want to do? Ah, I think I've got a strategy. Okay, so we're going to make them go for the shield bear. We're going to put in the sandworm, the venari, and then we're going to look at these high, this luminous eagle. It's great as a second attack. Mantoid here. And then the question is, do we want Silver Shield to give a plus one to all three of these? And for it to be our our kind of line of defense in the back. Or hmm. Do we want to do another snipe? That's the question. One attacks to three different things. This isn't even a good... Noah, I'm going for it. We're going to put this knight in the back. Good level of defense in the back. And they're going heavy magic, which is not a great thing for us. We are very susceptible to magic. They've only got four attack. We should be able to handle the shields. Oh, man, we got to get through things quickly. But we've got one, two attacks in different places. And that should be good. So we'll get rid of this guy pretty soon. So we did heal him up a little bit. That guy's gone. All right, so he's through, but I still think we're doing okay. Yep. Yep, yep. This guy does work. The sandworm does heavy work. All right, that was a good game. And uh, we've got a sneak in there, one of five. We'll try to finish up. In the meantime, we're going to see, did we get any new cards? Nothing yet. End of season. That's tough. Um, we can go back to rent. And maybe let's lower this to 200. Yeah. We changed our bid. And back we go. Do we want to try white again? We're kind of on a roll. Um, with the clay golem, the venari, and we've still got seven left. Seven left to do a, a four and a three. Four, I don't like any of the threes that much. How about a five and a two? Is there any twos? Yes, there is. So a five and a two could be pretty interesting. Cave slug. What do they have on level fours? The peace bringer. That could be interesting. Peace bringer together with the, another healer could be really interesting, but then we could get we could get really ruined by the in the back. Um, and that's I'm a little worried about that. So peace bringer has only got a four in the back. So I think we're going to try it. Yeah, I think it's worth a shot. We've got a, uh, we've got an armor, so we're a little bit protected. Now they are protecting themselves with a negative one, so both of these guys are going to have a negative one. But it's going to be, 
Let's see how they're going to hit hard here, too, and it's dead. I think they win this game. We thought we were being clever. Right, they've got three attacks before they can get rid of my guy, but I don't know if I can get through this first line of attack. Oh, see a four. And boom. Okay, we did it. We got through it. And now we're good. And game over. That was close. Just had to get through that one little line of attack. But this is when you're in the Bronze League. This is where you test out things. Okay. So we got 30 to play with, which is cool. We're testing out white. Um, uh, we're doing the shield bearer so that they don't try to sneak up on us. And after these three, you know, the two that I rented plus the shield bearer, I've got six left. So we could do a four and a two. Uh, I don't believe there are any ones. So four and a two or two threes, but I'm not too excited about the threes. So a four and a two. Um, which two do we want? I think we want this one. Okay. So uh, that makes sense to me. They've got no shields on us, which is problematic because we were going to have shields on everything. So um, we're going heavy Well, we, we're hitting the back. So we're going to kill that guy, then that guy, then that guy pretty quickly. Depends on how long it takes for them to get through this guy. And they've got some hard hitters. And we missed an attack. That guy's gone, but he wasn't even really helping them. Um, okay, we're going to get through this guy pretty quickly. So that's nice. So they don't have this guy helping them. And uh, we still got a heal going on. Oh, a miss was drastic. Okay. Get him. Perfect. That miss would have been really bad news. And done. That was close. A couple of misses um, weren't good for us and weren't good for him. It kind of evened out, I suppose. We got plus 40. We got 0.3, which is awesome. It's more than... When you're in Bronze League, you don't need many cards. Um, but you're going to start... We're, you, you needed to start the rentals now because we're going to be getting up to the higher level bronze where you're going to need some more of that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's just how that is. So I'm going to go back to my explorer and see if there's anything new, which I don't know why it's, this shouldn't take time. I don't know if I just lost internet again or something weird um yeah sites down or my internet's down so i'll give it a give it a, a wait and see all right that didn't take very long yeah so all my rentals are from a while back i'm not sure if there is a um it's kind of a pause on things there's another bug that we found earlier that would uh cause the account to have to wait one hour before it could do a, no, a new rental. So it's so weird to have them happen so quickly and then have a 40 minute wait till the next one. Um, so I'm pretty sure that there was one of those bugs happen again. So uh, it's something that we're looking into and that's why this has not been released yet. So, but yeah. Hey, look at that. We're up to almost one DEC per win, um, but we've won a bunch in a row. And that's why we're getting a little bit of a boost. But 
it's been pretty cool when you consider I'm, I mean, I'm not even spending that much per, per match, you know, I mean, per whole entire day, I'm barely spending that much. So I'll, let me show you what I've been going with. I'm just trying out a different tactic. If I, it's a high level, I've been putting the shield bearer. If it's kind of a little bit lower, I'll put the, the clay golem, but I've got a couple more points mana to spend. So the eight is pretty good. And I, I like doing this little combo right here. Um, I have been putting a double healer. Uh, so I guess I should show you that since that's what I've been doing. So I've been putting the peace bringer and then another three, which I wasn't planning on doing this many. So um, I'm actually not going to show my typical, what I've been doing the last one. When I got this many points, um, I'm going to go with the divine healer and another two. Yeah, so this isn't really what I've been going with, to be honest. This is something completely new. So we'll see how it goes. They've got a speed advantage on us by far. We've got very slow cards, so they'll do almost all of their attacks before we get there. But they've only got a one, two, three, four, five attack. And this guy behind is weird. So so they've got they really just got two, three, four, and seven attack. But we do have a heal in there. And that miss is really unfortunate. And another miss is extra unfortunate. Wow. What bad luck. When you go fast, you make people miss. So I showed you at the wrong time. I could have showed you all these games that I didn't show you. That I Well, let's see if it works this time. Um, clay and this one. That's it. I like these... I like this one. Uh, they're getting rid of my shield. Which is a good move for them. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this guy's going to do no impact because he has void. So it's going to be a three against three. And I'm going to be healing. So I win. Pretty sure about that. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's closer than I expected. Point six nine. So now I'm up to four more than I've spent. <laughs> this escalates quickly once you get into uh, silver and then gold range. And we'll just keep on building it so that you can do those rentals and get the cards you need. Play smart. Uh, it didn't work when we did the the higher level, the shield bearer, but we got two more points this time around. Okay, so we still have six left. A four and a two, or two threes. I am liking a four and a two. Oh, a four and a two didn't work. Oh, because that's a five. All right, all right. Let's see if there's a four in here. I don't... A four. And a two. And a peace bringer at the end. Herbalist right there. What happens is, is they'd use that black card that gets rid of one of my ranged uh, attacks. Which is not what happened this time. So we'll see what goes on. So we're going to be healing up the shield bearer. They're doing shield bearer with some sneak attacks, but that doesn't matter because we're they're going to be going after this one. So they've got, oh, and they've got two. Yeah, they've got extra attacks because of the silver shield, which was an idea I thought about doing. At one point, let's see how this goes. We're going to have... 
Oh, they've got the extra shield, which is very interesting. Oh, and a miss was horrible. Heal that sucker up. Come on. There we go. But this is real bad. This is real bad news. Wow. That was really smart of them. That was a really interesting team. That was worth showing for sure. Um, I'm glad I showed it, even though I didn't win. That was a pretty interesting team. Okay, in this range, this 23 is a sweet spot for this thing. Clay, Minari, Healer. And we still have uh, um, seven to, to spend. So Peace Bringer and a, a three attack. Well, we could do this Cave Slug. I don't know why you would do the Cave Slug. It's slower, um, but it does Opportunity, which is pretty cool. So let's give it a shot. And then let's put this... Uh, Herbalist, which has been nice as just kind of a don't attack me sort of thing. We're going to put this one, Herbalist, at the end. Divine Healer here. We're going to protect the Cave Slug a little bit. Divine Healer is a healer, and it doesn't have an attack at this low level. So that's why we're putting it a little bit lower. All right, Rumble. What are they doing? Something very similar. They just don't have... Oh, they don't have any of their healers there. Well, they probably didn't rent the Wavesmith. That's such a good price like we did. And we're keeping them pretty high. Ooh, pretty close to dying. But now he's going to heal back up pretty quickly. One healer is down. And we're good to go. Solid win. We're going to be pretty close to... Uh, we need to get those CP. We're just hoping that this fixes itself. I know there's a one hour delay on that one bug. So nothing, it's paused. And that's why we have not released it. Because it just straight up has paused and failed. So we will see. Another game. Let's see if we can do this uh, same strategy here. All right, we've got five to spend. Double heal? Should we do the double heal? Yeah, we should. Double heal with um, the herbalist to protect the back. Let's see what they got going on. They're going to do the, the Mustang. Everyone does the Mustang. Yep, and there's the Mustang. So they're going to start attacking us. It's going to take them four times to get that Divine Healer. And we have enough heal to get the um, to keep this guy fully all the way up. Oh, five attacks to get all the way to, to kill my first healer. So we are good. Even with a miss, it still worked out just fine. And yeah, you can go ahead and kill my Divine Healer. But now you did. Perfect. And we're getting up there, 0.79 per match. We could definitely go in and rent some more stuff. Um, should we end up... Well, it's still not working again. So we got to wait. we got to wait... Hopefully, when we release, this isn't the issue. So we're coming up on one hour since the last one was rented. And I know there was something about a one hour 
cooldown if there's an error, or timeout if there's an error. We do need to get our last two um, sneaks, but I probably wouldn't even open until I um, made it to bronze too. But I need more CP. So we're waiting on that to fix itself. So I like the 18. Shall we see if it just continues to run the gambit of uh, the gamut of solid wins? Same exact team. It's interesting that they gave two 18 matches in a row. All right, so one less on my attack from my clay golem, which is, and he has a heal. So a heal against our heals. And this one is going to, it's only going to take three attacks to get through my first healer. So I need to kill this guy in three attacks. And, and in two attacks, the herbalist is going to be gone. So and we have one less here. So we're only going to be hitting them for four. I think they win. So this is a, a problem here. This is a weakness, I should say. One, four. And now we don't have that attack. And uh, they're going to heal themselves. And we're only going to hit them for two. And we're out. Okay. That is a weakness. So we went down by 20. Can't land on that note, can we? <laughs> Another 18 game? Should we try it again? Um, I mean, what's the chances they do? someone does that exact same team again? I say it's pretty low. If we had the chicken, are they going to do that one again? No, no. This is the Mustang one. They're obviously going to do the Mustang. And we're going to win. Do we even want to watch it? We've just watched it. So we won. Obviously. Um, yeah. So is it back up and running yet? Nope. Uh, all right. Well, that's why we do these tests. It's not, um, I took a little break, came back. It's still not running again. So um, been a couple hours, no action. So we'll see once the developer's up and get it back up and working. And uh, once it runs smoothly, uh, we'll launch it, I suppose or at least put it into beta testing for people to publicly test. All right. I hope you enjoyed seeing this experience, watching a few games, seeing what's coming. Obviously, let me know what you think. All right. Bye.